right guys, today we're gonna demonstrate how to cut a compound angle using a portable circular saw. So when I talk about a compound angle, we're gonna talk about cutting something with not only a miter, but also a bevel, all right? This is a bevel. We're also gonna cut it at a miter. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to do that. So some of the things you wanna make sure you've done is in this particular cut, we're cutting a two by four, which is one and a half inches thick. We wanna make sure that the base of the saw is pretty much all the way down at the deepest level for one. You wanna make sure your saw is unplugged because we're gonna make some adjustments. Now in this case, we're gonna cut it in a compound angle. We're gonna again take a measurement from the long point of our, of, our, uh, of our angle. So the first thing we're gonna do is check the end of the board for square. After we check the end of the board for square, we're gonna measure down we're gonna take it along the edge of the board again this time. So we're gonna hook our tape measure on here. We're gonna do a 29 inch to the long point. So I mark it right there at the edge. So that's gonna be the very longest point of my board. I'm gonna put my little crow's foot there or however you wanna mark it. Or well, not however, you should put some type of mark like so on your board. Now in this particular case, the demonstration uh, I'm gonna do here is we're gonna cut it at a 22 degree angle this way, and it's our 22 and a half degree angle this way, and a 22 and a half degree angle this way. So that would be a 22 and a half degree miter, and a 22 and a half degree bevel, okay? Um, zero degrees, 22 and a half degrees, and 90 degrees are all very uh, common, as well as 45 degrees. So it's zero, 22 and a half, 45 degrees, and nine degrees are all real common angles. So to get this angle, what I'm gonna utilize is my speed square. I'm gonna take it out here onto the long point measurement, onto the pivot part of the speed square. I'm gonna pivot it out here to 22 and a half degrees. All right, so that's gonna be my long point and I'm gonna place a mark on the pivot side, like so, okay? So that's the long point my miter it's an included angle of 22 and a half degrees here so this is 22.5 degrees there is what that is all right so now what we're going to do is also rotate this at 22 and a half degrees so we're going to take our saw and we're going to tilt our table at 22 and a half degrees as well and we're gonna lock it into place like so. Now we're gonna make sure, we're gonna plug our saw here in in a minute, but we're gonna set it all up, take a good look, and set our saw up there to make sure. Now the saw is gonna cut it at a bevel, and we're gonna follow the miter line is what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna plug my saw in and demonstrate what this is gonna look like. Again, I make sure I don't have any kickbacks in my way, all right? I got a firm stance. I got my hands tight on the board, pushing down tight on my stock. I'm out of the way in case I get a kickback. This is the long point of my board. From the square end to the very longest point is the long point. You can see it's beveled and mitered both at a compound angle of 22 and a half degrees in both directions. So that's what we refer to as a compound angle and we just demonstrated how to cut that using a portable circular saw. All right, have a great day, guys. Thanks.